Hi YouTubers. Alright, so getting ready to go for a ride. Show you guys the uh, the KZ400. I know I still got body work to do. Uh, probably going to do white like I did the, the CB404 and the Gold Wing. Um, just got the front brakes working and find out I got to do fork seals too. So that kind of sucks but <laughs> it comes with first riding and stuff. Still got to do battery mount brackets but for now um, I'm just gonna run one zero battery um, just drop down like that I got a couple of brackets so far but the the uh, the Denzel motor the D7500 yeah, really nice motor for the size definitely plenty enough power for the size um, the next one I might do this motor is $370 um, kit 600 comes with the controller and uh, adapters and all that stuff it's 72 volts so this controller is a Yu Yang King 120 volt max 150 amp controller is huge it's heavy it runs cool I like it and it comes with the this one particularly if you order I got mine on AliExpress $193 for the controller $43 for shipping and um, working great i love it it's absolutely amazing so let's go for a ride oh where i do my symbolizers ah get my sunglasses there they are there goes my cat he can stay in for a while sorry about that guys i don't feel like starting the video over all right so like i said in uh the video talking about the controller i am in eco mode so my takeoff power is definitely less but it's good enough for me for now my 72 volts rocket should be here today um, the two volts rocket should be here today and i'll try that I uh, want to run off eco mode. It definitely runs a little hotter, but it's definitely a lot faster. I'll try to get the mic out of the wind for you. I noticed in that last video, well, I did a video uh, when I rode it to work the other day. running 96 volt step down to uh, 12 volt DC DC converter it's uh, 25 amp I think or 20 amp uh, plenty enough for these lights all the fuses in this were 15 amp tops even the, the main off the battery was a 20 amp glass fuse so should be fine just running headlights I can't decide you guys tell me should I take the neutral out should I take the red out um, I just hooked them both up, but uh, it's kind of like, ee. Well, I don't need both of them on for sure. So here's that low speed takeoff, which is good. Um, and of course in eco modes, the zero is the same way. It's slow as hell to take off, um, especially with just one battery in it, which is all I'm running on the zero on, on, on this right now. It's one battery. so. I'm going in eco mode and take off. This is a definitely slower and normal mode. It's about even with zero, which is pretty impressive. And it's windy today. This guy's turn. This guy's turn. Well, I mean, it cruises 55. It's pretty easy. I'm heading into the wind. That's full throttle. All 
all the way. If I tuck down and get out of the wind, it works it does better. No, <laughs> not really. Periodically, I want to feel the phase wires and make sure they're not hot. That's yes, a uphill. Funny how even you know regular motorcycle wind resistance is like <laughs> plays a huge factor. And I'm a big fat guy, so I'm just a big parachute. But like I said, I am pleasantly very very happy. Let's just imagine, $250 for the bike. And it had no motor in it, which is fine by me because it wasn't the plan anyway. $250 motor, I mean $250 bike. Let's say $370 for the D75 or $400 for the D9000, which is uh, gonna be my next motor. That's probably what would really work good in this <laughs> with the uh, so $250 YU Yanking that's 250 250s five and four is nine so let's say thousand dollars into the bike thousand dollars into the battery two thousand dollars to have Absolutely awesome, awesome commuter bike. Um, I, when I rode it to work, I on one battery I only use 50% of the battery, maybe 60. Cannot do that on the zero with one battery. I use the whole thing going to work with it, and same top speed of 60 miles an hour when the zero's got one battery in it. It says it's supposed to be able to do 80. It don't. I've maybe 64 one time, but uh, for the most part, it's just 60 miles an hour, pretty consistent, pretty steady. All right, I'll kick her back on when I get on the freeway. Getting on the freeway, getting on the freeway, turn signals on and blinking. Do, 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 do. Now I'm really surprised because I've been thinking about doing a chain conversion on the zero. Because someday I do plan on riding off road. But I found the Gates belt that is the same version, uh, just doesn't have the zero emblems on it and costs $90. Uh, for $42, I think it was. So, I can get belts cheap enough. Why switch the chain? Well, because I thought the chain was going to be really, really noisy. Turns out it's not. Well, not in this anyway. This is a 428 chain. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Alright, I'm going to tuck down so I can get out of some wind resistance and, uh, See how fast we can get this little guy going. I hope the camera's doing okay. I gotta get up here and turn my turn signal on and get in the slow lane. Alright, here we go. Yeah, maybe by the time I get up to speed here, it'll go downhill. <laughs>
hopefully this will improve with the 722 sprocket. Supposed to be here. I was supposed to have been here Friday or Saturday they said, but it didn't show. Hopefully it'll be here this week so I can get it on there and try out some different settings. I got 74, 75 miles an hour out of it on regular mode and normal mode and I had my battery amperage at 80% and I think I had my phase amperage at 70% and it was fast I mean it was pretty damn fast um, as far as acceleration it was definitely way more powerful and top speed was way faster um, but like I said I periodically reached out a few of my phase wires feel my motor motor temps good and uh, but when it was in normal mode it was hot it was 140 to 5 degrees I think it was and uh, I messaged Alex he said yeah just as long as you keep it under 180 you're good but yeah 60 is pretty solid That's it guys for a thousand dollar system not counting the battery I'm pretty happy with it as far as the, the bike and I would really would have rather done this with the 400 but by the time I got the the idea of building another bike plopped in my brain I had already ordered the, you know, $400 in exhaust system, $100 carb rebuild kits, $400 gas tank, you know, I had already been deeper into that than I wanted to be just, just for uh, building an e-bike. So quiet though. Definitely think I want to get a, a Magura twist throttle because um, this one is, is I don't know if it's controller or the or it's really touchy. As far as city streets, though, boy, I keep up traffic just fine. You're not oh, there's an asphalt, but it's going so slow. They knew there was a speed trap. <laughs> the suspension springs are definitely a little bit stiffer for this thing with less weight on it. I'm gonna get a couple scales of weight with the battery to see how much it is because it's it's so light man. It is so light. Oh there we go. <laughs> Cruise control does work but I need to get some switches hooked up to the braking system on the controller for that. And then I'll get some e-brake too, which would be kind of cool. And uh, I think it, I don't know if it regens or not. I never really, you know. Of course, you get the Chinese shit. It doesn't come with a manual. At least it does have a wiring schematic on the uh, AliExpress post because you don't get one with the controller. But I like it. I'm happy with it. It's working good. And in eco mode like this, I can probably, I don't know, 40, 50 miles maybe on one charge with one battery. Maybe when I double that, I'll have a 100 mile range. So what's going on here? Oh, funeral 
escort. Alright, so that's a e-bike motorcycle ride in a nutshell. I'm sure you guys don't want to hear all these sirens and shit. Alright, any questions on the build? Any questions on the bike, the controller, the motor? Give me a shout. Catch y'all on the flip side. Thanks.